Harvard donor's wife caught up in plagiarism accusations. There uh, is the glamour shot. Mary Oxman, the wife of American hedge fund manager Bill Ackman, admitted to plagiarizing in her doctoral dissertation while getting her PhD from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT. We've noted the irony here. Her husband Ackman has taken a hard line stance on plagiarism. On Wednesday, responding to news that Claudine Gay is set to remain a part of Harvard's faculty after she resigned as president, he wrote on X that Gay should be fired completely due to, quote, serious plagiarism issues. Business insider with the details. Students are forced to withdraw for much less, Ackman continued, rewarding her with a highly paid faculty position. Sets a very bad precedent for academic integrity at Harvard. What about where your wife went? Massachusetts Institute. Never mind. Ackman was one of the most vocal critics of gay. Harvard's first ever black president, and in his lengthy public tirade against Gay, Ackman also accused her of anti Semitism. In a report published by Business Insider, Oxman allegedly plagiarized multiple paragraphs of her 2010 doctoral dissertation. The report found at least one passage directly lifted from other writers without citation. The Hub.News with more on it. Oxman wrote on X, formerly Twitter. I was forwarded an email this morning from a reporter at Business Insider who noted that there are four paragraphs in my 330 page PhD dissertation, Material Based Design Computation, which I completed at MIT in 2010, where I omitted quotation marks for certain work that I used. For each of the four paragraphs in question, I properly credited the original source's authors with references at the end of each of the subject paragraphs and in the detailed by bibliography, rather end pages of the dissertation. She continued, in these four paragraphs, however, I did not place the subject language in quotation marks, which would be the proper approach for crediting the work. I regret and apologize for these errors. Now, <clears throat> cases she apologized for were similar in character to some cases that the Washington Free Beacon found in Claudine Gay's academic history, failures to use quotation marks around passages from works that were otherwise cited. It can happen, I guess. Business Insider found, however, even more instances a day after their first report. But a thorough review of her published work revealed that Oxman's failure to cite sources went beyond that and included multiple instances of plagiarism in which she passed off writing from other sources as her own without citing the original in any way. At least 15 passages from her 2010 MIT doctoral dissertation were lifted without any citation from Wikipedia entries. But like other academics, she also published lengthy detailed research papers, sometimes with other authors, sometimes by herself. The bulk of the plagiarism Business Insider found was in her dissertation, which runs more than 300 pages. Wikipedia wasn't the only research she cited without attribution in the paper that earned her a doctorate. In a footnote, she used 54 consecutive words without attribution from the website of the design software maker Rhino to explain what a non-uniform rational B spline is. She also used technical language from about tessellations that match language from the website. Wolf from Math World, which again, he didn't cite. She plagiarized both before and after she received her PhD in 2010 of three peer reviewed papers reviewed by Business Insider. Two, 2007's Get Real Towards Performance Driven Computational Ge- Geometry, and 2011's Variable Proper Rapid Prototyping also contain plagiarism. Business Insider sought comment from Ackman and Oxman. They declined via spokesperson, but after Business Insider had emailed its findings to Oxman, Ackman posted a response on X in which he promised to conduct plagiarism reviews of MIT's leadership. He's still doubling down. Now you're going to attack more people instead of there's something going on at home that you and maybe the missus should talk about before you investigate somebody else's intentions, their house. It's unfortunate that my actions to address problems in higher education have led to these attacks on my family. 
This experience has inspired me to save all news organizations from the trouble of doing plagiarism reviews, he wrote to his 1 million followers. He pledged to conduct a thorough review of MIT President Sally Kornbluth, all MIT faculty and board members and other officers of the MIT Corporation for Evidence of Plagiarism using MIT's plagiarism standards. On a line in the sand, he is. Meanwhile, the Boston Globe also uncovered emails from 2019, which showed Ackman urging MIT to keep his wife's name out of the Jeffrey Epstein scandal after dozens of celebrities were found to have ties to the convicted sexual predator and sex trafficker. Oxman gifted Epstein a sculpture after he donated 125,000 to her lab. This man will not just RIP. Okay, can you RIP and stop popping up in every story? He's how many other stories he's going to pop up in? He will not rest. Please rest. We've had enough. Okay, but back to this uh, couple again, Ravana. I don't mind people doing the work and pointing out things that need to be said, but I it always felt like he was after Claudine Gay and did not feel she was the right choice for Harvard and wanted to pile on during her worst moment. Felt like he wanted to pile on. I believe anybody can make a mistake. Now, I don't know after I read all that on the missus, if there's mistakes and then there's, you seem willful, but who am I? Don't you wanna start investigating my stuff, go ahead, okay? Because if you find something, I'm just gonna be an open book about it. I'm just gonna be an open book, okay? But I know you won't find Epstein. You won't find him, not around here. I've asked him to please rest and stop popping up in the stories. Ravon, I'll turn it over to you. Um, I'll first say that these two very wealthy individuals are going to make two divorce lawyers very happy in the coming weeks. Um, I said last week when we covered um, Claudine Gay's resignation, that if you peer into the past of anyone who's been in academia long enough, you will find an example of them misplacing a a quotation mark somewhere or misattributing some citation. uh, And it could be cast as plagiarism in those cases. This isn't that. (laughs) This is a pattern of clear and horrendously inappropriate plagiarism on her behalf. Mm. And I know that she must have been so furious with her husband every step of the way because he just, if he had just kept his mouth shut, he couldn't, he was so outraged. I don't know if it's his support for Israel or his uh, racism and wanting to get rid of a, a black woman president of Harvard because it clearly wasn't his moral outrage at the idea of plagiarism considering who he married. (laughs) Not to mention the Epstein connections coming out now at a time where the uh, associates of Jeffrey Epstein are being named. It couldn't have come at a worse time for this woman. Uh, But I think it just goes to show that none of these people cared about plagiarism in the first place. The issue was never about plagiarism. And it clearly, this man specifically, does not have a leg to stand on when it comes to commenting on plagiarism. And don't we know people like this? Maybe, maybe not as rich. They're on every job, they lack integrity, they pretend that they're doing the people. When really? Look in the mirror, Fred. John, whoever, just fill in somebody that you know who behaves with a lack of integrity, okay? Makes up and stalks evidence, it's not true. And in this case, it is true, okay? But it's the wife. She's had to now go on X again and say, and it's very convoluted. When the explanation has to get that convoluted, it just goes in one ear and out the other. All we know is you had plagiarized, you did it before. And then he did it after, right? They said 2007, 2010, 2011. Well, we'll see what happens tomorrow and who will pop up because he's threatening more of this action. Can't she tell him to go relax himself, take a bath, warm bath may calm him down somewhat. And perhaps he will, 
get this, this urge to out other people and seek revenge out of a system. Maybe hot cocoa too. I don't know. He's acting like a big baby and it's got to stop.